All right, what is up everyone? Happy Tuesday. I literally thought it was Monday, but it is Tuesday. So I am coming here live with you today to chat about results and whether they are sustainable, whether they, um, whether you get to keep them, etc. once you go through a coaching fitness program. And we're gonna be bringing on one of our former clients. Her name is Kennedy Van Horn to talk about her experience and what she has seen in terms of results, whether they were sustainable or not, how this has affected her over the course of working together as well as after working together as well too. Um, so that being said, I know she's here and she's ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring her in. Kennedy, where are you girl? There you are. And then, uh-oh, let me find let me find the invite. <laughs> there we go. Okay, on Kennedy. Now, um, first of all, hi Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been a long time since we've chatted. Isn't that right? It has been a while, yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm glad to have you here. Glad that you decided to come in and join and talk with us now. So I was just kind of saying that this is um, more so of like a follow-up call after we've worked together. And you can remind me, uh, we worked together back in 2020, right? We started together fall 2020. Yep, fall okay. 2020. Okay, awesome. Well, everybody, this is Kennedy. So Kennedy, I'm going to go ahead and let you introduce yourself. Okay, yeah. So uh, my name is Kennedy, like Jen said. Um, I live in Ohio, and I just turned 30 years old. Um, I have two fur babies and a four-month-old real baby. <laughs> yes, that's exciting. You've had a lot of changes come about, haven't you? <laughs> yes, yes. My life has been a roller coaster recently. Yeah, and you also went through a lot of changes with COVID as well, too. So COVID was back in 2020 also, right? Oh. Yeah, lots of changes. Um, COVID sent me uh, home working from home. So that was a huge change for me. Yeah, awesome. Okay, well, Kennedy, let's go ahead and dive in. So let, let's let everybody know we have not chatted about kind of like anything where you've been since I know we've kept in touch because we are friends, we've gotten close over the time of us like coaching together, right? Um, so we've kept in touch all of that, but really not chatted so much about like fitness journey, what you've been doing since um, things like that, right? Yeah, yeah, we have not uh, talked one-on-one uh, -on -one in, in a while, but yeah, we definitely um, have chatted, you know, texting back and forth and, and updating and, and things like that, which has been great. Yeah, mostly just about life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not really anything coaching related, no. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, cool. So this is all going to be fresh and new to me and fresh to everybody else watching. So before we dive in, if you are watching this live, please put down hashtag live squad. And if you're watching the replay, put down hashtag replay squad. I got to pull this up. That way it doesn't look like I'm completely not yeah. doing anything, right? Okay, so um, where would you say you were and how would you describe yourself before you started your health and fitness journey with me? Oh my gosh, yeah. So as you mentioned previously, um, I came to start working with you in fall of 2020. Um, so this was kind of like a couple months after COVID had started. And I personally was probably at one of the lowest lows I'd ever been in physically, emotionally, I was at my heaviest weight. Um, I, you know, like everybody else, my whole life had changed. Um, with COVID, I, you know, was working from home, I didn't um, have access to a gym. Um, I was just kind of eating whatever my daily activity was just tanked. Um, so I, I had already gained weight and then gained COVID weight on top of that. So yeah, I was I was a bit of a mess. <laughs> yeah. And so what when you came to the team, like, what were your main goals? Yeah, my, you know, my main goals was, you know, yeah, the weight loss, but I was really looking for support and a community um, of, of like minded, you know, women and, and people who were also on a fitness journey, because again, we were working from home. Um, I just felt like I really needed that community aspect that I wasn't getting with with anything else. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that. I know we all dealt with a lot during COVID for sure. Um, so yeah, that was, that was very difficult for many people and really reaching out for that community was huge um, as well too. It was just hard to connect with people. And I myself felt very disconnected during that time. Thank goodness I had clients because I could talk to people every day. Yeah. <laughs> really, it helps so much. It helps so much. Awesome. And so um, whenever I so what I want to think about here is like whenever at that time, whenever you were like at your lowest point, you said you were dealing with a lot, et cetera. What were kind of like your main focuses, focuses at the time? Like what was going through your head? Do you remember those things? Yeah. I mean, it was definitely kind of, you know, a lack of confidence, um, you know, 
because of the, the weight gain and physically, but also just, you know, I was just not happy. I, I felt like I'd always had kind of a, a pretty healthy relationship with food and, um, you know, was pretty active. And I, I just felt like I lost my way in a lot of ways and just didn't feel connected to myself, to my body, um, was just very, like, lacked a lot of motivation. Um, and it spilled over into so many more aspects of my life, um, which was, you know, crazy. It wasn't just about my physical health. Um, you know, it spilled over to my relationships and to my work. I mean, just everything. It, it, it just was not a great, a great place to, to be in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think something that I like to think about is whenever we do have like goals, or if we do have insecurities, or we think things that we want to improve or work on, that kind of just lives rent free in our head, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why it's are we out of space? That's <laughs> taking up space. And like you said, it kind of bleeds into these other areas of your life. It's like having a cluttered house that needs to be <laughs> cleaned. Right? Yeah, you can't escape it. No, you just got to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. And I think you already kind of mentioned already, um, like what really motivated you to reach out is that you just really needed the support and the community of like minded women, uh, people who are working towards the same goals as you, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just really needed that support. And, um, you know, at that time, again, with COVID, but also just in my in my life, there weren't really a lot of people that I knew friends wise, that were going through um, a similar kind of health journey. Um, so having that community with all the other, you know, people on the team, and then the support of the coaches um, was just priceless. I mean, it was awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad that you said that, because that's something that I really look forward to as well, whenever I start whatever goal that I have, like having other people, like you said, like, like minded who are on the same journey can be really helpful, especially when nobody in your close circle is following or like working toward the same things. It really impacts you, right? Oh, it, it definitely impacts you. And you don't realize um, just how beneficial it can be until you're in it. Because you know, you you're not only having that support and those conversations with people, but then you're just, you know, sharing tips and tricks and, you know, celebrating wins, but also getting support and help when you have, you know, a failure, not that anything is really a failure. It's just a, a lesson, right? But you have that support. And um, yeah, I mean, there's just, there's nothing that can replace that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing. So um, during our time working together, I know um, you made some changes, mental, physical, all of that. Would you mind um, sharing with others like what those changes were? I know you hit actually a lot of pretty awesome goals. So can you share those for everyone to kind of know as well too? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, the weight loss is great. I think I, when I um, was done, I lost about 30, 30 plus pounds, um, which is so exciting. Um, you know, I, you definitely want to celebrate the weight loss because yes, that's important, but there was just so much more transformations that I made um, in addition to the weight loss. So uh, this was the first time in my life that I was consistently um, lifting heavy and I felt like a strong badass. I mean, there's just no other way to like put it. So, so pardon, pardon my language, but I mean, I just felt strong. I felt confident in the gym, you know, for the first time I knew what I was doing. Um, I, you know, was really excited about my workout plans, which I didn't really have before. Um, and just, I would say mentally and emotionally, I felt just really like I could tackle on all the other goals that I was making in my life not just the physical ones, the weight loss journey, but goals that I had for, you know, my personal life, for um, my career, just everything. I just, I felt unstoppable, to be honest. Yeah, you were just like checking off the boxes, yeah. like one goal, accomplish that, now I can do the next, now I can do the next, whether it was fitness or other areas of your life, right? Yeah, it, it really did feel like that. And, and one of the main reasons, you know, I came to you um, was I was I was struggling physically with my health. Um, but I'd also started my journey to potentially get pregnant um, with my husband. And, you know, so I was struggling with infertility at the time. And so, um, you know, when I was done working with you, and I found out I was pregnant, I mean, that was like, the biggest oh my god um so yeah so it just it bleeds over into every aspect of your life i know that because i was in a healthier place mentally and physically um that you know having the blessing of getting pregnant it was the right time and it just was it was the perfect the perfect thing that could have ever happened so i know when you told me that i was so excited i was like over the moon <laughs> i remember when you told me that i was like oh my gosh this moment yeah. He did it. Like, 
it was so crazy how things happened. It really, it just felt like, you know, just, yeah, perfect timing, I guess, is the way, the only way I can put it. Yeah. And I hope you don't mind me touch on, like, some of the struggles that you had with your health. So I remember you had PCOS. That's mm -hmm. when you came onto the team, you had PCOS. Um, and one of the goals or one of the things that you achieved as well, too, which you didn't already mention, was your skin. Mm -hmm. And I'm bringing this up, girl, because I used to suffer from horrible, horrible acne. And my skin, as you can see, no filter. You so have on, too. Like, we are clean but and girls right <laughs> yeah i mean i love it i really do um for you for me for everybody who gets to embrace their skin and their as it is right um and then something else that came up along the way too like you were pretty good with your pcos that was very much in control and then we hit another road bump which was being diagnosed with endometriosis as well too and that was like what the heck is happening it took both of us like by surprise right yeah same so yeah, you got through all of those different areas. Like you said, you, your health improved a ton. Um, and then you were able to get pregnant as well. Too. So <laughs> if you want to touch on that, like the experience of like, yeah. what, what all did I go through? You can, but if you just want to. Yeah, no, I mean, I think, I think one of the biggest things was, you know, being a, a female with a period, um, you know, I had been on and off birth control, you know, most of my, my, you know, young adult life. And I thought a lot of the symptoms that I was going through were normal. Um, and I don't think I would have questioned any of them if I wasn't working with you. Um, you know, like the insane bloating that I would go through, the, the incredibly painful periods, the cystic acne, um, just all these things that I just was, it was such a part of my daily life. And I had struggled with it for so long that I didn't really think much of it until I started, you know, working with you and you were kind of like, whoa, like this isn't normal, you know? And I was like, oh, really? Okay. Um, and that's what really gave me the confidence to go back to my doctor and say, listen, like this is not normal. Um, we need to do more testing, we need to figure out what's going on. And, and that's, I, I ended up going to a specialist. And um, that's when I got diagnosed with endometriosis. So, you know, I knew I had PCOS and, and had a lot of symptoms and struggles with that. But getting that second diagnosis really explained a lot of things. And again, I don't think that would have happened if I wouldn't have gone through coaching with you. Awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's really just about creating awareness and helping you be informed and make educated um, decisions and also ask questions based off more information that you have, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so biggest thing I think that has happened is your new baby. Uh, yeah. As you call him, my middle name is Teddy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My our, my husband and I couldn't um, like <laughs> pick names. We were so terrible um, with picking, coming up with names, and and he loves the name Arlen, which I also love. But I was like really, really attached the, to the name Theodore. Um, so we we decided we went with Arlen Theodore, and um, yeah, he's my little teddy bear. He's just <laughs> just Girl, perfect. Theodore is the best name, and then Arlen honestly is really unique. I've never. Is yeah, yeah, it's like kind of like an old timey name. Um, so I guess it was like really popular back in like the 1930s or whatever. But yeah, Dakota's like, I really like this name Arlen. And it's based off of a book character that he loves. And um, so yeah, it just was like, yep, that's it. Arlen Theodore. <laughs> I honestly love it. Okay, so um, you got pregnant. Let's mm -hmm. talk like, um, that was after working with us, right? Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about what's happened since working with us. So you got pregnant and then had a baby. So what happened? How have you thought about yourself, your body, your fitness journey, your health journey, all that since um, all these big events have happened? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I was actually reflecting on this um, a little bit ago. And, you know, I think one thing I want to say is I think going through my, my fitness journey and getting to a place where I felt really good with my body and my health and then getting pregnant put me in such a better place um, mentally and emotionally. I think, you know, because yeah, you're going to have you some weight gain during pregnancy. That's totally healthy. Your body's going to change. Um, it's going to look totally different. And I don't think I would have been in such a good place mentally um, to go through those changes. If it weren't for coaching, I kind of just rolled with the punches. And, you know, as my body was stretching and changing and, and all those things, I was just loving every minute of it. And I could just enjoy my pregnancy as it was. And I just, um, I don't think a lot of women can say that. And it's, it's sad. So I definitely think coaching helped me 
um, with the pregnancy process. And also I had a really healthy pregnancy, um, which again was, you know, I, I don't think would have happened, you know, having that weight, that extra 30 pounds off um, before getting pregnant, being healthier, you know, with the way I was eating and, and moving my body. I mean, I had a really good pregnancy. Yeah. So you were more mindful during the pregnancy as well, too, with making food choices and all of that. Yeah, I mean, there's only so much you can control, you know, like in my first trimester, I was I was sicker than a dog. I mean, you know, and you just eat what you can. Um, but then, you know, later on, when I had more of my appetite, um, I had a healthy appetite. Um, I, you know, was eating all of the the fruits and vegetables and, and lots of, you know, trying to still maintain my protein and making lots of smoothies and, um, you know, all those things that I kind of got into the habit of doing um, before getting pregnant. Yeah, oh, awesome. So those like habits that you created during the time of working together kind of carried through. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I may ask, so um, I don't know, but did you work out at all during pregnancy? Or how did you continue to be active? If you were active? What was that like? Yeah, so for you know, again, for me, like my first trimester was a little bit tough. Um, just because I was uh, very, um, you know, sick, um, nauseous and that kind of stuff. Um, so it was just a lot of walking. Um, and then throughout my pregnancy, I personally did not uh, weight lift. I was not going to the gym um, just because COVID here where we are kind of spiked again. And uh, my doctor, you know, kind of was just like, hey, you know, it's your choice. But, you know, I would just be kind of careful. And so I was just doing a lot of outside walking, getting lots of fresh air. And then I did a lot of like yoga and stretching and just really trying to connect with my body and my bump and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so very like low impact um, stuff while I was pregnant. Yeah, awesome. So like pretty much like nutrition is kind of what managed you as well as like daily, oh, yeah. not so much yeah. like working out or exercises as well too. Yeah, definitely relying on the, the education and the things that I learned uh, with coaching as far as nutrition and just really having that to be able to fall back on and know and feel confident that I was making those good healthy choices um, was, was helpful for sure. Yeah, nice. Okay, now I hope you don't mind my asking. There's no rush into like, um, I know when we go through pregnancy, like our bodies change and, you know, we can go with that. Some people may be rushed in order to like get back to their former results or where they were before or get back into like a new, better position since we're not really returning to our old body anymore. Yeah. So however you want to phrase it, but now that you are four months uh, postpartum, where are your focuses now? Like, what have your focuses been since having Arlen? And then, like, where are your focuses now, if any, at all? Yeah, yeah. So I would say, at least for me now, this is my first kid. So, you know, I think the first couple months, it's literally just getting used to the new normal. I mean, like, just everything in your whole life, you know, for us, it's totally changed. And then my husband and I also moved. So we moved into a new house, um, which is just... No. In Sorry. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we purchased a new house. Um, so we moved. Um, and so that was that was crazy. So I think for for me, at least the first couple months getting used to this, you know, the new sleep schedule, and I'm personally breastfeeding. Um, so you know, at least with that with a newborn, I mean, Arlen is hungry all the time. He is a growing boy. So that takes up a, a lot of time. Um, so, you know, the first three months I wasn't really putting a lot of, you know, quote unquote pressure on myself. I was just getting through each day. You know what I mean? Like just trying to focus on what I could control, drinking lots of water, eating as healthy as I could, um, getting out for walks when I could, you know, that kind of stuff. And now that we're kind of over that newborn stage, um, you know, Arlen just celebrated his four month little birthday. Um, I feel like we're getting in a much better kind of routine where I can focus more time on myself, um, you know, daily. Uh, where like before it was like, I'm lucky to like get a shower, you know, or like brush my hair, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. We're kind of getting out of that. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely kind of back in the mindset of um, having some time to, to focus on myself and, and, and reassessing what my goals are. And that's really exciting. Um, and it's not like depressing or daunting or oh my God, like I have to do, you know, like it's, again, it's that positivity, that goal setting mindset that coaching has helped me with. Like, I'm just like, I got goals and we can reach them. Like we can do it. <laughs> so um, yeah, we definitely have some more, some fitness goals. I definitely want to get back in the gym. Um, you know, nutrition really hasn't trained, changed too much, which is great. Um, always eat pretty healthy now, which is, which is awesome. 
Yeah. Would you say that with like, so you continued your eating habits whenever you went through pregnancy and mm -hmm. now not changed too much post uh, partum. Um, how would you say that has impacted like your recovery or like where you are now? Like it has it, if you don't mind talking about, has it been to like lose the baby weight or um, do you feel like your body is like getting back to um, a good place again or like what's going on there? May I ask? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, so I actually had a C-section. Um, so I was a little bit like physically sore for like the first couple weeks. So moving was a little bit tough, but um, I do think breastfeeding helped, um, you know, get some of the, the pregnancy weight off um, pretty quickly. Um, and I can't speak to anyone else's journey, but at least for me, um, I definitely noticed like my, my stomach going down and, and things like that. Um, and then the only flip side of that is breastfeeding, you know, makes you incredibly hungry. You are burning extra calories. So it is e easy for your, at least for me, my weight has kind of gone up and down a little bit. Not crazy. I mean, we're talking maybe five or 10 pounds over, you know, four months, um, which for me having PCOS is like nothing. <laughs> Um, you know, so that might sound like a lot to other people, but like my weight can easily fluctuate like 30, 40 pounds and it has. So, um, but yeah, it, you know, it just kind of, I would say I, I've lost, um, a little bit of the, the pregnancy weight again, hasn't really been my goal. Um, but I would say having the healthy nutrition while breastfeeding and then still trying to be active. Um, I definitely haven't gained any weight, which for me is, is great. Yeah, yeah. And it's important just to at least um, eat properly in order to keep your milk supply up if you choose to breastfeed as well, too, right? Like you said, oh, yeah. growing boy, very hungry. <laughs> so hungry. So hungry. Always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, so my last question for you is based off of your previous experience with coaching, based off of like the process for you to lose the initial weight that you uh, lost while us working together and where you are now, would you say that following the same process would still be something that you would like to do, I guess, in the future as like a repeat, like I've done it before, I reached my goal with this, it wasn't too taxing, it wasn't too burdening, etc. Um, for me to do the same thing again, like I believe and trust the process, it'll help me the second time now that I am postpartum. Oh, 100%. I mean, um, you know, for me, it's it's so much more than just like having um, a nutrition goal or like workout goals, like, I have to have that support. Um, and so that's what online coaching, you know, provides for me that I think is unlike anything else. It's that personalization and the meeting you where you are as a client that I don't think you can get anywhere else. At least I haven't experienced it with all the things, the fad diets and the boot camps and the challenges. None of that ever worked because there wasn't that community. There wasn't that support. Um, so it's, it's definitely something that cycling in and out of um, for me is, is, always going to be something that I'll probably look to. Yeah, yeah, I would say I agree with that, like similar mindset, right? Like, whenever I have goals, I always reach out to a coach or a mentor to help me because I realized the first time that I had a coach, and they helped me get to a goal. I was like, wow, this is the way, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Especially when there's community and support, and you can have people to bounce ideas off of and all that as well, too. So exactly. Okay, my very last question for you now is for anyone that is listening, um, who's kind of sitting on the fence and they're wondering like, should I join um, a coaching program? Should I join the Fit and Fulfilled team in order to see results? Um, what would you say to them? Like you, especially like thinking back to where you were before you started and where you are now after you've been through and out for a while, like what would you tell somebody? Yeah, I just say do it. Just don't hesitate. Just do it. You just got to go for it. Um, you know, we only have this one life and there's no more time and no more sense in being happy, unhappy um, with whatever it may be. Like, you just have to go for it. The support is there. The, the knowledge is there within the team. Um, they're going to take you and, and, you know, help you grow and reach those goals and teach you and give you all of the tools that is, is necessary. Um, and again, having that community is unlike anything else. I mean, you can't really get that anywhere um and I just yeah just do it just yeah. go for it. <laughs> awesome well I appreciate that for anybody <laughs> I'm like wondering you're like okay it's scary at first right like when you first yeah like, holy heck <laughs> and then when you're looking back on it's so easy to say like you said just do it <laughs> just do it 
So yeah, I over time have gotten a lot better about every time I make a new investment into a new goal that I have. Um, but yeah, when, like you said, like you said, don't let it, you know, sit there if it's worrying you, if it's bothering you, if you have a goal or an insecurity, whatever it is, like, like we said, it lives rent free in your head. Yeah. And we don't want that. And it bleeds into other areas of our life. But you also mentioned, like, once you start checking off goals and hitting milestones, it also bleeds into other areas of your life. Oh, yeah. For sure. It can go both ways, positive and negative, and, and uh, you definitely want it to go go towards the positive and, and just start reaching those goals. And why make it hard for yourself? Just just get the support, get the help, you yeah. know? I love it. I love it. Okay, awesome. Well, Kennedy, thank you so much for hopping on here and chatting with me. It was really good to catch up. Um, yes. <laughs> I know we've kind of been in touch, like, personally, um, not really talking much about health, fitness, because we've created connection with each other through coaching um and also good to hear that you got a new house i'm gonna chat with you after i'm gonna ask you about that <laughs> you had a better life update so yeah awesome well kennedy i'll talk to you soon i hope you have a great day yeah you too jen thanks you're welcome bye girl